is in the life of Ephesians 5.26. The word is the bread. The bread is the word. And it's a washing agent to sanctify. Bread is a symbol of Jesus, our sanctification, our holiness. In Matthew 26, 26, it says this. Take it and eat it. This is my body. Think about it. Just aid a beautiful promise in the contract and the covenant. Because when Jesus comes, he's going to give you his resurrected body like his. It's a symbol of hope. to Revelation 21, 1 and 6, more about water, Revelation 21, verse 1 and 6, and I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. Verse 6 says, And he said unto me, It is done. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. Here, water is a symbol of nourishment. Without water, your body cannot burn your food and assimilate it. Without water, the garden plants cannot burn their nutrients that they draw out of the ground and make food to live on. Water is food. And here, water is a symbol of eternal life. Look at 22, verse 1. And he showed me a pure river of water of life, clear as crystal, proceeding out of the throne of God and of the Lamb. Verse 17. And the Spirit and the Bride. <coughs> Pardon me. The Spirit and the Bride. Who's the Bride? The Church. Thank you, Joy. The Church. So the Spirit, in tandem with the Church, with you and I, are to invite people to come and hear and those who are thirsty to drink, to take the water of life freely, nourishment. This communion service is a contract by God to nourish us spiritually so that we are sanctified and the bread and the wine are symbols of that. We're going to ask our elder David now to um, pray for the bread and the, uh, uh, for the wine, which is a symbol of life from God. It's a symbol of the Spirit. It's a symbol for the church. And we together are to say to others, come, be thirsty for eternal lifestyle. That's what it's all about. Thank you, David. Let's kneel.
this morning, dear Father, our prayer is that we will be united with the vine, dear Lord, again. With you, dear Father, this morning as the rain comes down, we would ask that our hearts be washed clean, dear Lord, again. That we accept, dear Lord, this special gift that you have given us, the gift of life. We realise the sacrifice, God, that must have been for you to send your only son to this miserable world to die for us, Lord. We know, Father, if there was just one person on this earth, the sacrifice would have been the same, dear Lord, that that one person would have eternal life in grace. So, Lord, this morning as we drink this wine, help us to remember the significance of it, dear Lord, and to change our hearts and wash us again. symbol of the contract of your covenant with God think about what Jesus did for you in Calvary
today we have celebrated again the sacred contract that God has made with us and that we have signed with him at our baptisms. This contract demands our loyalty and it demands our obedience. I want you to remember today as you go away and read around those pages in the bulletin in Desire of Ages, remember the words contract, covenant, water, purification, sanctification, nourishment, eternal love. It all stands for that. I appeal to you today to kneel at the cross of Jesus and thank him for what he's done for you and to give you power to live his lifestyle in the court of the lies ahead of us. God bless you all. And I just wish and pray and hope that you have a good new quarter with the Lord. Just bow your heads for a moment and meditate in silent prayer, thanking the Lord, you personally with the Lord, for what he's done for you today. Thank you, Lord, for the elixir of your grace and forgiveness. Thank you for the nourishing water of life that will keep us holy through the new quarter. Help us to thirst continually for it and to drink it and to eat the word daily. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen.